Hi, my name is Rick Carskeel. I'm an artist here at Oculus Story Studio. And today we're going to do a brief introduction to Quill. Uh, I've got my friend Ryan Thomas here who's going to help me out. All right, welcome. In front of you, if you raise your hands up, you'll see how you relate in VR. You've got a little purple cube and a, a little uh, dot on that represents uh, your right hand and your left hand, the little dot for your right hand and the cube for your left hand. And as you see, um, what we need to, see, to do now is to be able to move around in VR. So the first thing we want to be able to do is kind of learn how to navigate. And how we do that is by using our lower triggers. And um, I, I think an easy way for me to do it is uh, pretend I'm like uh, grabbing an invisible rope, like, like a mime. And I'm just going to grab that lower trigger and I'm going to pull uh, that low, my controller towards me. I want to give that a shot with your left hand or your right hand and then just kind of go hand over hand. Oh, there you go. All right. And then you... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, whoop. I went through it. Very nice. Okay. Okay, cool. And so now that we are able to move around in VR, let's try drawing. And uh, the quickest way to draw is with our right hand upper trigger. And just press that and you ah. can start drawing. Ah, pretty cool. Sweet. Very nice. So uh, if you go look to your right there, I've got a couple of faces. Why don't you pull yourself close to this there and why don't you draw in a few of those fa faces for me. Very happy. As you can see, it's pressure sensitive. So if you squeeze the trigger just a little bit, you get like a smaller line. And you can variate the size of your line there with the pressure on the button. Very nice faces. And you'll notice also that uh, the lines are flashing there. And the reason they're flashing is uh, that means that that's the line that you're closest to uh, and you're able to interact with that line. And the first thing you're probably going to want to do is fix your face on the, uh, the upper right hand by uh, being able to erase that line. And the way that we erase is by the A button, which is the lower button on your right hand. Just stick your cursor to where it's flashing there and press the A button and it can erase that line. So with just those two directions, you're able to draw and erase and have a little fun. There's just some very nice faces here, Ryan. All right, let's, uh, let's look at this guy on the right here. And why don't you stick your cursor in there and uh, give him a little haircut. Very nice, well done. All right, so why don't we uh, look to even our further right, and now let's move into some color. Let's get closer to our little palette there. And in the same way that we were able to uh, stick our cursor in to be able to affect uh, the line to erase, why don't we stick your cursor into one of those colors, and we're gonna press the B button to be able to pick that color. It's the upper button on your right hand, and just pick a color there and you'll hear it accept that color. There you go. And then you're able to draw on whatever color you can pick up. I might take a little while to uh, color in that whole sailboat drawing with this brush size that you have. So why don't we change your brush, dry, brush size? Uh, your right thumbstick, if you push it up or down, that will affect the size of your cursor. There you go. Now remember, we're in VR space, so there really isn't a flat sheet of paper. So why don't you try coloring behind the lines. Look at that. All right, 
If you make a mistake, instead of just uh, erasing, what you could also do is undo, which is your X button. It's the lower button on your left hand. And it'll step back as many times as you push the button. Very nice. So I want to put that drawing on our, our refrigerator here. So why don't we uh, make it a little bigger. Um, and the way that we can world scale this is by using a left thumbstick plus your lower trigger. Hold the lower th trigger down and push the left thumbstick up or down. Whoa. And then we can scale the world in relation to where we're at. Very cool. Well done, Ryan. Thank you. All right, so why don't we uh, press our Y button, which is the upper button on your left hand. And that's going to open your menu. All right, and if we press the little painting on the far left and the bottom, there we go. That'll start. And you notice that you actually push your icons. You don't actually have to push a button. You actually push your little arrow to be able to engage. You did that really well. Um, but you'd be able to check anything on this menu just by poking it. And uh, why don't we take a look at the next one over, which is your brushes menu. Just a quick overview of your menu area. Um, we're going to get into uh, a lot of these a uh, little further in other tutorials. But uh, I want to give you a quick overview. But the first one is our little brushes menu. We'll be able to affect the style of the brush that you use. Uh, the next one over is our, uh, if we go back down to our menu, You'll see our color menu, and that way you're able to pick any color that you can come up with just by poking it. Look at that. And you can also affect both the paint color you're doing and the background color that you're working with. Uh, look at that. Very cool. So the next menu over, we'll get into a little bit deeper later, but it's the layers menu, and this is how we're organizing our drawing and the elements within our drawing. and It's a very powerful tool that Quill has, so um, it's very important if you want to be able to uh, arrange the elements within your drawing uh, to the best way that is, uh, the best way that you can organize your stuff. And then the last menu is your doc management, where we'll be able to uh, import things and export things and open your files from. And we'll get into that a little bit deeper. But so far, you've done a fantastic job, sir. And I just want to go ahead and close your menu and I'll let you just free draw for a little bit. And I appreciate uh, you walking us through this uh, introduction to Quill.